And to do this for the culture of black people coming together when they say we can't work together. They say we can't work together. But for us to come together and work together and do what we did in this short window of time. Have black promoters always been given a fair shot? No, not at all. Usually it's all about the P&L and, you know, money, right? With us, we have to prove everything. It's a fight, but we understand that. That's where we're from, right? We have to fight first, and then hopefully, you know, we're walking in. Just our name alone and our capital will be enough and our track record. For us to get married, it took us almost a year. We had to fight against all the big box agencies. It comes down to agents having so much power with the act that they'll just say, I'm not gonna work with this guy, I'm gonna give it to the venue. I'll give you my bad, my bad tours that I need to make a little bit of money on so you can just keep eating crumbs. There's a lot of um, artists that don't get the work they need to get in the other promoting buildings as you can get with the Black Collective. It's about changing the narrative of who we are, what we look like, because we're not just, you know, what we see in the streets. But it's more of a movement to buy back the block, bring our culture, and then actually present our culture in a way to venues on a level that is able to be scaled. We were in a similar organization back in the 80s called uh, the Black Promoters Association. And we really tried to do what these guys are doing. It's difficult. And I've been doing this almost 30 years. I've seen it all. I've seen every kind of promoter, good, bad, ugly. This was a no joke tour. This was, <laughs> people were counting this one out. I mean, just on a logistical level, you have New Edition, who is a bona fide headlining act. You have Charlie Wilson, bona fide headlining act. Jodeci coming back together, and truth be told, not having the best reputation up until this point. They get it. You know, their industry, you know, these guys individually were doing shows in each of their respective areas and doing it well. And I like doing shows with them. And now they've come together and taken that street to, you know, more of an executive approach and, and it worked. Our um, black artists have a place to go in our community to do this work. This has been the best tour by far that we've ever been on for all the right reasons. And I believe this is going to be a model that other people will have to follow in the future. Everybody's like, wow. They just thought it would be just black and ugly, but it was black and beautiful. None of us knew it was gonna happen. It happened, and it happened in dramatic fashion. It's one thing to hear kick around the idea of what was taking place. It's a whole nother thing to watch this whole thing just come into fruition. Can't get no better than this. I don't even know if we can ever get any better than this. BBC.